Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Natik Yarns here in Elk Grove, California. And sorry about the late start. We had a, my phone wasn't working. So lots of exciting things that we have in store for you today. I'm really excited. It's very exciting. It is. There's a lot to talk about today. Um, I'm going to jump right in, do the prizes, and then we'll talk about it. And I'm not going to go in depth about the prizes because, frankly, we have a lot to talk about today. I'm looking at a live video right now. There's literally like a church. Interesting. Oh, I, mean, I didn't even know stuff that. like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can just, there's some way to get to just random live videos. Yeah. And I mean, maybe that's how people find us sometimes. So. All right. I found myself. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's Friday. Good morning. All right. We're going to just dip our toe into the monthly grand pies. Valued at more than $200. It comes with two different kits of French Angora where the animals are hand brushed. Pattern support. And we did the sweetest little tags for it. We have a class supply tin. We have two things of treats, party cracker seasoning and the raspberry truffles. Three patterns, all that can be used with this, maybe a little smaller version of this um, one. And last but not least, we have this fabulous bag. Love that bag. How can they get entered to win? Every time you make a purchase, you get one entry per purchase, and it is cumulative throughout the month, and we will draw on Tuesday, October 1st. All right, that's exciting. We are speeding through today. We are, just because we have a lot to do. Our daily prize is two skeins. One got wound up. All right, two skeins of a, of a Noro. Hi, Sarah. Oh, nice. No idea how she found this. Oh, my God. I love that, Sarah. <laughs> Maybe like church. I know. It just pops in when you need it, yeah. right? Good morning. Good morning. And I think she's been in every day since she found this. because I, I love this. Her name. We actually have quite a few people from Canada um, that pop in or they take our classes or we ship to. So it's really nice. I love that. We've made so many new friends mm -hmm. through the existence of the boutique. So I, for one, thank you. I love it. I love it. All right. I, I know I'm going fast, but there's a lot to cover today. So our daily prize is a retired Noro. And it's actually two balls. This one just got wound. It must have been crazy. Uh, and we're going to send it to you just like this because it's not bad at all. I can tell you it is a cotton blend and I love this one time they had basically a nylon thread that wraps around the stitch. As always with Noro, it is a single ply self striping that slowly goes from one color to the next. Natalie's one of our Canadians or Canadians, mm. right? Um, and then we have our pattern Flyaway Lotus, which is a really fun cowl. It comes in three different sizes. A small is 10 by 24, medium is 6 by 30, large is 8 by 48. It's really dependent on your gauge. I'm going to tell you a little secret. I don't swatch my cowls. Nope. They are. I already know, like, I right now I knit a little bit loose, so I will drop down one needle size, whatever it says, or what I think I should knit, and that's it. And someone's going to get it. It's going to fit someone's head. I like baby stuff. It'll fit someone somewhere. Unless, here's what I think about baby stuff. Because I have made this the hard way where I didn't swatch. And the baby sweater was squatty. Mm, right? True. So your my gauge was off here, but I failed to compensate that I needed it longer. Um, but still. It'll still work. It'll keep somebody warm. It'll be like a little crop top for a baby. Cute. All right, so one lucky person's going to get this, and I'm really excited. I cannot wait to see it knit up. Good morning, Crystal. Hi, Devin. Uh, really easy. It's all through engagement. Every time you react to the video, you're going to get one entry. So if you love the color, you're excited about something we're showcasing today, um, you just show us the love. You're going to get one entry for every reaction. Then, Susan? You get five entries per comment. Hi, Sherry. Yep, we love Noro. Oh, hello, Sherry. Uh, so the fastest way for you to get entries is to click that little swoosh arrow down in the bottom, and you can share to your story. You can share to your friends. You can share to a group. 
Put your nice little love note in there that says whatever you would like to say. Technology is silly. Uh, so put your note in there. You hit share now and you can share to group. So if you do, come back and say share to and where. Let us know where you shared and that will let us interact with some new peeps. I can't even spell. I don't have oh, my glasses on. That could be part of the problem. I was typing, what was it, yesterday, and Kristen's like, okay, now check your spelling. And I had red lines everywhere. I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. I do have my glasses, which is always yeah. exciting. You do have to pop back in and write where that you shared it. So I shared to my friends. Carolyn just shared to Instagram. Awesome. Shared to my stories. Thanks, Carolyn, for sharing. Okay. There we go. So that is going to give you 11 entries every time you share. Whoa, shared to my high school friend that also knits. That's awesome. Nice. There we go. I don't know what that was, but here we go. Over something. So based off of yesterday's video with Karen and Susan, let's see. And they debuted. Oh, oh, that's right. It was Kristen. It was a different home team. Yeah. Kristen <laughs> and Susan. And they debuted the new crochet hooks, interchangeable. Very exciting. Pretty fabulous. Let's see who's going to be the winner of this great prize. And it's it's a retired yarn. That's even oh, oh, Natalie. Natalie Roy. Congratulations. That's good. We wish you could come visit us and tell us you have a prize, and we would get it out of the cabinet for you. But I know you are not local, so next time you make an order, let us know in the notes you have a prize, and we will include it in your pretty piece package. I'm going to put it back there. She has yeah, a... she does have one. She there. does. We're waiting for our cooler weather. I didn't want to interrupt my brain power. I know. Because I'm like, I'm going to mess it up if I change what I'm saying. So, Natalie, we will add it to your package that is waiting for us to ship it. Because the weather is too hot for that package. Oh, we have to get these things would melt. These, these are so good. That's in her package. It is. Oh, look at these awesome sparkly keychain bag tag bob things. This is... What we have left in our sale. Look at that. I love that. Susan was so tired of it. She cleaned it up, <laughs> rearranged. I love it. Okay. All right. We're going to jump right in and first talk about um, the new curated box. I don't have anything to show you because it's a surprise. This is true. Um, and I'm going to do new boxes because that's how I roll. We'll use those other boxes for something yeah. else. So... Um, we had such a success for the birthday boxes that we did. We had done originally three levels um, that we are going to try and do uh, a minimum of once a quarter. We have maybe one coming up at the first of the year for Valentine's Day that you'll get something for three months. Um, but we have had so many emails and I've started to see photos of the birthday boxes yarn that uh, things that were created. So we decided to host another one. There is only one level of this box. You can sign up now and your card does not get charged until the first. It's going to ship the second week in um, October and we're hoping everyone has it by um, October 12th, which is I Love Yarn Day. And that's, we called it Fall, into, Fall in Love with Yarn. Um, it is an exclusive color. One is an exclusive color. Then we have one coordinating color and a surprise stain. We know people have already ordered it because if you were in the collective, I gave everyone the collective an opportunity to order it. Um, there are limited quantities. I would say that we are without advertising it besides the collective. We're about a third sold out of this one. So it's going to be very limited amount. Um, and it just makes it easier for us that we have one level. You are not paying for it now. You are paying for it. So you sign up and then your card will get charged on the first and then it'll go out in the next week. Um, it's $199.99. Well worth the price. Everything that's in it is more than um, $199, but it's really exciting. It is an exclusive colorway. I'm so excited for I that know. I can't wait to see it in yeah. person. Exclusive colorway, and um, it's 
it's really pretty. It is not your typical fall color, but the coordinating color brings it into fall-ish. So don't think oranges and rusts and reds. That's not in that. Not at all. That's the only hint I'm going to give you. Hi, Janice from Georgia. Uh, so that is uh, first people that sign up, get it. Um, we may do a waiting list if something happens. But like I said, we're a third out and our advertising is going to go out today via email, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, all of that. But we always want to honor you guys and thank you for the way that you support us by giving you plenty of time to sign up before they're all gone. We are doing um, a third um, a third of what we did for the other. So it is significantly less than the last one and it's just because um, time wise. Sherry, it's already live on. She asked if a project is included, not specifically, but we will give you suggestions. We will do pattern suggestions for you on what you can do. And that's honestly, people loved that idea. It did go over very well. It did. They like it. And Susan loves to do stuff like that. So that's Susan's in charge of that. I have pinned the subscription. If it's something that you want to sign up for, again, you're not paying now. Your card gets charged on the first uh, value is more than $200. We charge $199.99. Um, if you are not in the U.S., our Canadian girls, all you have to do is let us know, and we'll, uh, we just have to charge you regular shipping. That's unfortunately, I can't comp $30. Um, but if you're local in the U.S., we do give you free shipping. I think that my Canadian people, I'll give you a discount on it. So then it offsets that we're shipping free to the U.S. We'll say $10 off. So shipping would only be $20 to Canada or England. So we'll be able to fix that. I don't know how we'll do it, but I just made something we'll figure out. It out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Because I always want it to be even. Just because you're not in the continental U.S., I still want you to be able to participate. I better write that down. Because, you guys, I say things, and then I'm like, what did I agree <laughs> After to? After the video, we're like, wait, yeah. what did we say? We need to write that down. Um, what do you think about it, if not describing the yarn? Because you've seen it. You guys seen there was a couple I of renditions. I am super, super excited. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it is not typical fall colors, as Danielle said, but it is happy it is it is happy mm -hmm. yeah that that's all I have it makes me very happy to look at it and while she's writing her note let's look at our Chaka Salt Lake We're sold out of the merino cloud in the seven series colorway but we still have the solid that is silky twist you're looking at turn camera there's the solid on a skein of two ply mohair and beaded silk and sequins. All right. Now, next to talk about. Did you show the yarns or you can? No, Janice, oh. it's a surprise. <laughs> it's a mystery. Natalie, we'll see you later. Uh, yeah, they are mystery boxes. We do not, not, no curated boxes tell you what they are. You order them sight on scene based on the fact that you know we're not going to send anything ugly. And I mean, we went through a couple renditions of this uh, to be palatable for everyone on the team. Yes. Mm. We provided feedback and then it went again and we do it again. Yep. We do it two or three times until we get exactly what we want. All right. So we have our choice of to showcase. Brand new needle sets or a brand new pop-up color. The first five answers. I'm so excited for both of them. I know. They're awesome. They're awesome. The first five answers, that's what we're going to do. That's what I have to do. Yarn or needles? <laughs> right? We need, like, Alex Trebek. Uh, Nancy loves what you're wearing. Thank you. I believe that was needles. We got one needle, one pop up. You get your answers faster than me. Jeez. Oh, okay. Hold on. We got two yarns and a pop. We have two pop needles. yarn. Oh, three. three. Pop up All color. Right. All right. So I love the new pop up it's color. So they debuted it on um, 
Instagram in the last couple of days and I and I've already seen this, but I mean I see this months ago and I was like, Oh my god, that's gorgeous. And someone's like, Where can I buy this? And I said, Hopefully at Natik Yarns, right? And then it had come in. So beautiful. It comes with a little free pattern, uh, which is ridiculously easy. They call it kaleidoscope eyes. And I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the label off yeah. because I, I mean, feel like you it. need to see. Now, for those, these are uh, hand done. You guys know that. Um, so there is going to be typical changes. But if you are ordering more than one, we go through all our orders that have multiples. We're picking those first so that we can get the closest to you. Kaleidic Scope Eyes is really from a kaleidoscope is where that they, oh, they nice. got it. Um, I love, I mean, there's so much in here that I like. I like this neon pink section there's a beautiful uh, violet red you go into like corals terracotta pumpkin orange there's okay this blue is just tying the skein so there's not not actually blue but there's green in it if i go like this you can see what it looks like there we go right i love that it's so gorgeous you open that one all the way this oh like yeah, this yeah i want to see it that way i think sometimes when you do it like this and then you kind of snail it you get a really good i mean there we go that's what's in it so that's what i'm saying there's pinks there's oranges there's greens there's cream purple melanie says she may need that for pink weekend yeah i think so i can bring it to you because your order shipped already mm. so that is kaleidoscope eyes out of smushy cashmere you guys know smushy cashmere fingering weight 70 percent superwash merino 20 percent cashmere 10 percent nylon which means you can use it for socks because of the nylon in it 400 yards um, and I love I'm still in love that they do this the pop-up club has gold labels I just think it's you. It's very, very fancy. I should ask Veronica about this because I think this would be fun for our yarn. Yeah. Oh, Something yeah. like that. Nancy, yes, it was pink concert. Yes. Next weekend. Oh, my God. I got the funnest shoes. I can't wait for you guys to see my outfit. I got shoes. And you guys, most of you guys don't know, I do love shoes, right? And I like heels. They could be shoes for, like, um, Lady Gaga. Oh, nice. So it looks like there's no heel. It looks like you're kind of free floating because the met, the structure comes down and then out at the bottom. Mm -hmm. They're bizarre. But still, how fun. Yeah. All right. So we have kaleidoscope eyes. This is the pattern that comes with it. I got to fold it over. Yep. It is a free pattern. It's for people who are new meaning there's lots of knitting in this and then you would have to seam it it is on one of those links if you want to show them yeah. a zoomable one later but if you want to do it you could cast on the number of stitches and join it in the round and then you just knit one round and purl one round and then you don't have to do any seaming which um, you know, if you're newer, not everyone wants to seam in the beginning. We, of course, have found lots of Casapinka um, items because we think it's fabulous. So here we are. I show you guys. This is how beautiful it is knit up. And I just think garter stitch Casapinka patterns would be wonderful because it breaks up any pooling. This one's simple to create, but I do like the effect it makes. Right. Mm -hmm. And it has a really good description of how to seam that direction in garter stitch. I like that. There we go. That is kaleidoscope eyes. Uh, don't wait too long. We had 20 skeins ordered for the store, which normally we sell out in a couple days. Couple days. Yeah. All right. So we're going to show you that, and then we have a lot of options. For, I'm just going to leave it like this. Yep. Um, 
we will include one of those papers in everyone who orders. So that makes it easy. And we are going to, I'm going to show you actually a couple of two color projects that would be beautiful. The paper is not the pattern itself. It is a QR code that takes you to the pattern and it has a coupon. So this is LY local yarn store. Does it say local yarn store? Local yarn shawl. Early, early. I think this is our first one. Yeah, early LYS Casapinka. Because this was when we, uh, during COVID. Oh, it was a store too? Yeah. Okay. So here it is, two skeins. One's going to be a solid. This would be, your variegated would be down here. But you can put so many options. So we've got quite a few to show you. We have black pearl which really pops out that color. If you want to make it extra pink, you could use uh, Liberation Light, which is actually an exclusive for new tea. Yep. Gorgeous. You could use Sunflower and make it be a little bit more fall. And then Susan's come along. <laughs> Susan was here. Oh, my I God. I love playing. this one. Divine with oh, that yes. is beautiful. Or Jocelyn. Ooh, I really like Jocelyn. It warms up all of this. And Do Re Mi, which makes it be more purple. That just so I pulled this out right there so much right in back here. Mm -hmm. So here's a, oh. a color lesson. Purple. Violet red. Red violet. Cast a pink of four color pattern. Right. Perfect for that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So we're just going to leave all these here for you. I'm going to show you a couple more sweater options. Um, I'm wearing one called... Um, Look, squirrel? Bullfish no. Memory. Bullfish memory. See? That's it's yeah, just as bad. Um, three colors. So you're doing three different colors. But we also have other ones here, which are beautiful. We're kind of going into the season for this. I'll point south. I'm going to try it on for people because not everyone, they're like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do with this? It's, it's a fun little... I'm like, there we go. I would wear it like this. I don't want anything pointing to my lady bit. You're cute. And I would probably knit this on a bigger needle size. Is this yours? No, it's very small. Oh, it was theirs. It, yeah, it was sent to us. So yeah. It's incredibly tiny. I don't think it's to gauge. Well, it might be the Caspinka's gauge, but I always have to go up on her patterns. So many fun stitch patterns in there. Mm -hmm. That would be great. We have, oh, one of our, is this one of ours? Yes. No, well, the yarn is exclusive yes. of the pattern. It has a tag on the front. This is a one skein wonder that would be perfect for this yarn. It is called Stormy Sky Shawl. What I like about it is you have lots of yarn overs, which break up pooling, and then you have these drops, but I think those drops are fabulous. That is the best part of the whole thing. Yep. Yeah. This is a one skin wonder again, cowboy cowl, boomerang style, literally my favorite. Yeah. Um, oh, I love this one. This is one of my favorite um, things I've knit. This is therapy. It uses three different colors. Um, and I think I used a mini skein and I ended up running out. But you have one of the colors is pink. One is green and one is a variegated, and you could easily make this longer. But again, it's a boomerang style. Lots of easy um, garter stitch, but you're changing colors. Then you have a yarn over two together section, and I love the little pico at the bottom. Yeah, that's fun. Again, it goes with everything, and I like the longer tails on this one. All right. A pop up link. Yeah. Sorry, folks, see. I don't have links on my thing right now. The pattern she is wearing is called Therapy. 
We had goldfish memories. We had all points south, stormy skies. Oh, what's the other one I'm staring at? I, that, that's all I got. I'm out. Wait. <laughs> all, uh, local yarn shop. That was it, yes. Local. I'll just type it real fast. Local morning, yarn shawl. Those of you just joined. And goldfish memories. Yep, this is the pop-up color we are talking about for September and the coordinating colors that we like with it. So, happy Friday one. all those who work. Why? Nancy said happy Friday to all those who work. It's definitely Friday. Melanie, now wearing therapy all day is a pretty great idea. There we go. I Gorgeous. just put, put all the links in. Not the links, just the names. the names. You'll have to look it up yourself. Oh, yes, indeed. All right. So just to show you a little bit of variety in the colors, like we said, if you're buying more than one, we will definitely go through and pick the best. We will even do black and white photos to make it. We try our best. We try our best them. to make it perfect. All right, so that is Dream and Color, Kaleidoscope Eyes, Pop-Up Club. We didn't put a date on it. Right now, I would say September. Yeah. All right, I'm going to move it aside. All right, pretty pink yarn, we're going to move you. Oh, I wish I could show them the basket of it. It's so pretty. All right. If we have time, we can yeah. walk over there and do that. All right. So I'm going to set that here. We have new uh, restock colors in Dream and Color, all in smushy cashmere. This is fancy color number 070. It's kind of like a big girl liberation, you know? Kind of, yeah. It's less pink. You see? A little bit different. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people will substitute fancy. Fancy is less pink. Yeah. We have probably the number one color in the last few months, Milky Spite. It is gorgeous. Those two go really so well pretty. together. Uh, I just think I love all the pastels in here. There's lavenders and seafoam green and celadon, um, a little bit of amber, some cornflower blue. It's like abalone with gray. Yeah. Yes, and much softer. Yeah. Good morning, Nancy P. It is so gorgeous. Nancy I says she needs kaleidoscope in the purple. So that would be divine. divine. I would want to get one that has more of the purple. Divine and kaleidoscope eyes. Mary's in Fort Bragg. Oh, Mary, that's exciting. She's going to be coming to see us. Mary's normally in Michigan. Oh, nice. I love it. Make sure you let us know. And if I'm not here, I could be in the back. So don't yeah. leave without. Just let us know. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, next, we have True to Life. Uh-oh. Avalanche of yarn, folks. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I might have pulled a lot of colors back there. True to Life is so pretty. Okay, True to Life, beautiful. This one is called Fable. You see all the blues and the greens? Oh, so a little bit of sunflower. A great two-skein two project, True to Life and Fable. Um, I love the next one because you picked great colors for this. This is because the background is cream this is i think very fall this lends itself to be more ocean theme more fall this is caroline you can see the speckles in this the oranges the navy blue the greens the yellows and look at paired mm. with tex so max pretty. tex max is one of my favorites it is I just think it's a beautiful color, and it really goes well with lots of different choices. Also, they are pretty, Shelly. I agree. Firebird would be another one. Mm, three colors. Mm -hmm. Forget choosing two. Get all three. 
And then with Sable, I think this is a good choice too. This is Gold Experience. I mean, Gold Experience could go over here too, but I like it here because there's very, there's just a little bit of the gold. Most of it's the greens and the blue. So I'll show you True to Life, Sable, and Gold Experience. Tex-Mex, Caroline, this is a much brighter palette than this one, much softer, and Firebird, what did you pair with this one? Um, it probably got moved. I know, because um, I touched a bunch of stuff. I know, they fell. Was it this? Oh, well, that's oh, yeah, gorgeous that together. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's what I had with it. This is Fancy. Fancy has more, uh, it's more of a red-violet than a violet-red, uh, which kind of pulls out the colors in this. You could even do... I would say you could put a purple with it. You could put a purple pretty easily. So this one is Fancy. We have Milky Spite, and we have Divine. So, Sherry, it is Fable with an F, not Sable. But there you go. Focus. Sarah says she, you love the beach and fall. I, yeah. Me too. We are ready. We are ready for fall. We're ready for fall. It was, uh, I think, 100 yesterday. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to the beach on Sunday, and the beauty is going to be 70. That's the nice thing nice. about it being a little bit warmer. All right. Um, Nancy says they don't see the link. Did the pop-up one not stay pinned? Um, scroll up a little bit, girl. Let's see. Let me repin it. There we go. There you go. And as always, if you guys need help, just call us on the phone. All right. So, Melanie, you placed your order, and you want us to pick a darker kaleidoscope. Perfect. I could do that. Yeah. All right. Ask me to play with color. Okay. Yeah. Makes it easy. It's just so pretty. Look at that piece. I mean, oh, you know what I'll do real quick before we do the next one? I'll grab the basket. So oh, they yes. Wait till you guys the see the basket. It is so pretty. It's not the basket. It's what's in the basket. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna give them the count out for a second. Are you, there. you ready? Uh Oh, look at that. It's such a pretty bouquet. It is pretty. That is absolutely stunning. I already know which one I'm getting for you, Melanie. <laughs> I know. Isn't that funny? It's going to be this one right here. I love it. You like that one? Mm-hmm. I mean, heck, if you guys want to pick out your own color, we will let you do that. We have plenty of oh, time. green in that one. Oh, my goodness. So pretty. Posies, yes, for sure. I'm getting this one back on. I actually like the the one that I opened. Yeah? Because it's more oranges. Oh, uh, yeah. But you can see there is a difference. Some are lighter, some are darker, some have a little bit more than melon. There we go. All right. That is Kaleidoscope Eyes for Dream and Colors, Pop-Up Club for September 24. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll double check them all, Melanie, see which one looks prettiest next to the other purple, but um, I like that one. It's like a bouquet of roses, because seriously, in the camera, I looked at them, oh, where did we get roses? Oh, it's yarn. Yeah. Um, we're going to show you a few patterns that we found for it, um, besides the ones we've talked about. But this is Local Yarn Shawl. That's one of the ones. Kind of in similar colors, which mm -hmm. is really pretty. We have Sharon's Pregame. I was done with the sweater. Maybe I'll do that one. That's fun. Got so much done last night because football is back. Oh, it I'm is? I'm so excited. You're working on your sleeve? Yeah, oh. it's almost done. God, that's I have good. about that much more to go. I like it. Like four <laughs> inches, you guys. Hug shot was a really fun one. I like most of it's really easy as uh, knit and purl. There's some slip stitch, slip stitches, 
And I love a little feather and fan thrown in there. I need to find that one. I did it. I wonder where it is. Breathe and help. That one started. There we go. I liked the color work that you did. I thought that was, that was pretty. Done, yeah. That was during uh, COVID. It was. Oh, I like Kitation. I think that's very pretty. I just blocked one of those for someone. Nice. Uh, so I'm just going to click this link. You guys can go back into the comments later on and find it. These are all the patterns that we found that we don't have time to showcase. The beginning half has other. Yeah. Uh, Hitchhiker, great one skein wonder. I've done that multiple times. Easy knitting. Don't forget, you're going to get kaleidoscope eyes with your purchase of the skein. Sharon Peterson did two hug shots. Nice. I like this one. Always be brave, Shaw. With the chains. It's in the cabinet if you want to see one. Really? Yeah. I blocked one. Uh, R. In here? Yeah, in the plastic bag in the R. Is it my R? Right there. No, Denise Richards right there on that. See the gray bag? This one? No, down. Bottom. Yeah. Sorry, folks, if I was yelling in the microphone, I forget I was right next to it. Oh, boy, she did. Isn't that gorgeous? A lot of things. Here is one. This is what I love. I want to get pictures today of them. Look how gorgeous this is. I think just, this should be it's mine. Garter stitch, slip stitches, and stockinette. I, I think um, you could talk someone into making one for you with, you know. Oh, I want this <laughs> one. It's already done. Well, I don't think you're going to get that one. I could just give her yarn. Um, you can ask. All right. <laughs> Let's see what else. It's kind of fun to see. I never get to see everything. Sorry, Denise, for sharing your stuff without asking, but, oh, there's Kitation. We don't need to tell Denise. Here's another one that we were just talking about. This is uh, Dream in Color. It is, yes. Yeah. It was one of the kits we had for, that was a local yarn store day a couple days, years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, there's one more. I'm developing Anna Brain. I'm starting to remember all this. Good. Somebody needs to. I can't remember the name of that one. That one's still, I'll come across it someday. We'll have to ask her. But that's it's pretty. gorgeous. It's like short rows. Short rows, double yarn overs. Alexandra's yarn yeah. would be stunning in kaleidoscope eyes. Yeah, so just to let you guys know, if you didn't, Susan is our blocker extraordinaire. She blocks for the store. She had, so how many projects came in? I got 13 in two days. <laughs> That's still, why you're like, oh, I better, I got to get moving. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I block on the weekends. So I got, I don't know, six of them done last weekend. Amazing. Boy, this is a hard one to fold. Yes. Thank you for undoing it for me. You're welcome. <laughs> My pleasure. Um, what are other, some of your favorite shawls that you've knit, Susan? Oh my goodness. One and done. Yeah. I Pebble think Beach. I've done multiple of both of those. Those are some of my absolute favorites because they look good in any yarn. Yeah. You can no, just fold it in half either direction. There you go. It's a puzzle to fold these things. What else? Oh, anything by Alma O'Brien, by Casapinka, by Jania Calio. I don't know if I say her name right. Yes, Brenda, it was a lot. It's still, I still have a lot to go because I got a couple more, in the, you know, since that one particular day. All right. You're going to drive your girls to the airport to go to Denver. Look, then you get a vacation. Everybody be safe. All right. Oh, Next so in the lineup. Too. We're so, we didn't, we forgot we'd ordered these. Mm -hmm. And they came in and both Susan and I were like, oh my <sighs> gosh. These are Knit Pro needles, which are Knitter's Pride and Knit Pro basically combined companies. What I like about these, the price point is fantastic. Amazing. Um, there's a four inch set and a five inch set. Here is the five inch set. They're aluminum. I like that the tips are a little a different color. 
I love that you can actually read what yes. size they are. I mean, they've really done a great job. I believe they're laser. They are laser. Yeah, you can feel it. They're laser engraved. They're interchangeable with the cords that work on any Knitter's Pride, um, Lantern Moon. You do get extra needle, extra cords. Lindsay says she can't leave now. She needs needles. Right. And then there's a little package of accessories. I don't know what's in it. I don't want to open it. Probably the tightening keys. Yeah, that's what it feels like. And your stitch stoppers. Cable stoppers. If you need to take your needle tips off and your project is still on it, you put those on. Or you can use them as stitch holders and then put them on. Just put a note on what size was on your needle because, uh, you know, you'll want to know. This yeah. set, which I think is fabulous, is four through eleven, and it does have the ten and three quarters, which Ooh, is very nice. rare. Do you get that one? I like the different colors. Um, the silver on the edge is great because that's where you're looking at your knitting. Also, the points are elongated, sharp without being too sharp, and they even have instructions on how to, like this one, how to put on your point protectors, they call them end caps, and how to tighten. So you screw them on first, and then you use the pin and hold it and then twist it. Nancy, or yeah, Nancy says want, not need, and there was a question on the name of the needle sets. The name of the needle sets are Zing, like Zinger, Zing Deluxe so Interchangeable. Nice. Both sizes are on one page. Makes it easy to find. Yep. I thought I did the link, but let me double check. These are so gorgeous. Color coded. So once you remember what color your favorite size is, they're very easy to find. Okay, those are the um, five inch. And then they have the four inches, which are in the same color. One of the things that I like to do is I will use, if I need a size in between, I put the short on my left hand and the long on my right, and it gives you an two inches. Oh, for like your cable length? Sherry, everything's available on the website that we're showcasing on our video. I love that it's pink, it zips up, you can wash this down, even this ombre so, so pretty yeah. Yeah, there you go. and the other side is where the cords and your turners are the end caps you can put in a tape measure I just think how small how small this is to hold right. everything I love this set and the fighter set has a zipper pocket on the back for all your oh accessories my. and the tape girl must be coming as things are moving uh. Um, but so adorable, easy to travel with. Look how small that is. And there's room to put in, you yeah. know, a pair of scissors. There's room in there for sure. Those so are funny. the zings. Um, that's it. We should have a lot today. We did. I like it. Ooh. And we still have time. So we'll talk about, again, what I am wearing. This is therapy. I highly recommend Knitting this, honestly, it's the first thing that I knit after my mom passed away. Oh. It took me a few months to kind of get in the groove of knitting again, but my gosh, I loved it. Easy, fun, relaxing. You don't have to pay too much attention. Uh, one skein of three different colors. All right. Let me grab this. This is my Frozen Skies that I finished recently, and yes, I use tiny mohair. You could use two colors of fingering. Easy. It would be still be gorgeous, and you can still put beads on it if you're crazy like me. Because fingering and beads play well together, and I wish I'd stop seeing the mistake in it every time I look at it. You wouldn't have the opacity, but it still would be beautiful. Yeah. I mean... I could see doing this one again. Really? Yeah. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? I think this would be a gorgeous wedding shawl. For sure. 
almost the color of the shawl I did for my own wedding. Mm -hmm. Which right. is still around somewhere. In your shawl yeah. library. Probably. All right, my loves. We are off. We will be packing your orders. Um, everything's ready to go except for Natalie's package. We're waiting for it to be a little bit cooler. Um, but thank you so much. Have an amazing day. And you are going to want to watch tomorrow's video. It is going to be fun. I think so, yes. Yeah? Yes, it is. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.